Gaffer, a great win against Cambridge last weekend. How much are we looking forward to being back at home and taking on Stevenage on Saturday? Well, I think the win was because of the performance. So it was, it was, it was a good win. We needed it just for, <coughs> for everybody's confidence. But um, you know, the performance levels have been coming. They've been growing. Um, and I think to a man, every single player con- contributed fast, energetic, attacking football um, with so much pace. The ball speed that we played with was was exceptional. So now it's just about continuing it, not getting complacent and, and continuing to to get better, wanting to improve um, and keep putting building. We've had a, we'd have had a tough start with some of the fixtures and, and, and what's been thrown at us. But, you know, we, we're getting a good squad now. You looked at the bench and on Saturdays, a couple of thousand games on the bench. So, you know, we've, 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 we've gone through that little stormy period and, and we've probably never looked as, as bright since I've been here in, in terms of the, the team that we're putting out. You were a very happy man after the game on Saturday, having had a, a week or so to to watch back some of the clips and and stuff like that. What pleased you most about the performance? Oh, about the point. I thought, well, I was the reason I was a happy man because I saw Dave Victor and his convertible. It just, it really did make my day. I just thought, you know what, it's brilliant. Um, do you know what the the amount of it? So I, I watched the the this is Burnley. I watched that, and um, and Vincent Company does a, his graphs on how long it takes the players to adapt the way that he wants to play and how many hours in a classroom, how many hours are on the pitch. And, when, and a lot of supporters don't realise this, that people take time to learn, adapt, settle in, not just off the pitch in terms of the environment, a new home, a family moving, whatever it may be, but then also the way that we want to play. Um, so if he's taking Burnley 120 hours on the on the pitch and 130 hours in the classroom, we're no different, you know, so... Um, the new lads that have come in look really good. Ethan Galbraith was was outstanding. Um, Max Sanders has come back into training. You know, he's 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 doing his best to get back in the team, um, he, and he looked bright. Um, Jordan Graham, I thought was was different class. Sol, you can just see that the stature that he brings to us and the and the calmness that he brings. So, um, and we've also got the likes of Joe Pigger that he's still getting up to speed. So I think the new players have brought extra quality. I think we're gonna. As the season goes by, we're only we're only going to get better. This is a starting block. This is a platform for us, you know. And on Saturday, that's what, that's the level now that we have to reach more often than not. We've been a bit unfortunate so far this season with the injuries and a couple of suspensions as well. Do you feel like Saturday was your first opportunity to really see <coughs> your your new look squad? Well, there's only one and a half games where we have played four two three one. The second half at, at at Plymouth, which I thought we we totally dominated the the game. And then for the 90 minutes at Cambridge, it's a system that I like. It's a system that when I close my head, I can see visuals of how I want my team to look. When we play for, when we play through at the back, it's not ideal for us. Um, you know, we're, we're, you're playing an extra defensive player rather than an extra attacking player, which is, again, not the way that I want to want to go about. But, you know, when you're picking players that, one, are not fit, the new lads come in and not quite fit, um, and then you look at your substitutes, Bent, and it's not really at its strongest where we can continue what we're doing. Then it's it's difficult. We needed to change, and I thought for the majority of the game we we, we was in it. Um, but now, when when you see for the first seventy minutes on on Saturday, full throttle, full of energy, and then we've got the likes of Darren Pratt, Leo Omar Beckles, George Moncur, Joe Piggott coming off the bench, then it it looks like a really really strong squad. Max Sanders will come back into the to the squad for Saturday, so. Um, I think that's the reason the players, the, the most important thing about any football team is, is the players, any football club is the players. So when you've got good options, it, it makes my job a lot easier. Solbrim was back in goal on Saturday. I think it was a first start for Jordan Graham as well. How have we come out of that injury-wise? No, I th- Alice, I think sol has got every chance to be a real real top goalkeeper. It's difficult for Sam because his best game was, was against Blackpool. But when I look at Sol, I think he's got a real, real chance of being, you know, he reminds me of David Seaman, not obviously because of his his tash. He hasn't quite grown that yet, but um, just the way he's, he's of a real calmness about him. He's a big guy. Um, he's a big guy in his normal clothes, and you know when he puts a kit on, he gets bigger. And the like them type of players. Um, and then Jordan Graham, I think straight away you can see the way that he manipulates the ball. He he receives the ball in tight areas, but he's really consistent with it. He doesn't re- doesn't doesn't give the ball away too cheaply. Um, and I like the way that he delays things and he drags defenders in. So, um, you know, I think in terms of his first start, he can, first start in the league, he, he can be really proud of it. His first 15 minutes away at Plymouth was a different matter. 
he was um, running in treacle, so to speak. But um, no, he, he, be, can, he can be pleased for that. He's got through the week unscathed, um, and now we we just manage his manage his minutes in the next two or three days. I think it's important. The last thing we want is is for him to break down. Looking forward now to tomorrow and Stevenage team we know well, having played them last year. What can we expect from them? No, I think listen. I think they're brilliant at what they do. They are brilliant at what they do, and um, it's not everybody's type type of football but you have to take your hat off and say that what they do they're very 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 consistent at it and they're very very good at it they've had a great start to the season um you know they pushed us all the way last year they was the only team that i felt <coughs> could potentially take the title away from us um so you know they've got a good manager who knows exactly the way that he wants to play recruited experienced players with a lot of league one games in in the summer, and he started the season off really, really well. So I watched the game against Portsmouth. It was, you know, it was kind of not a non-event after they both went down to ten men. But you know, the first, the first twenty minutes, the, they're up. The, the balls are put down your throat, and you have to deal with it. If you don't deal with it, then, then the, the game will be played on their terms, and, and they're very, very good at it. Last Saturday was a great atmosphere at Brisbane Road. You hoping for the same again, I assume. I'm hoping for the same of them, but again, there's too many empty seats with the p- people being on holiday and, and what have you. We need the place to be full. So if you can't make it, give your ticket to somebody else or sell it for a fiver. Come on. we need the, No, we need the stadium full because them, t- them couple of thousand, even though we can't we can't sell another ticket. You know, we have players, some of my family ask for extra tickets. We can't physically get them because of all the tickets are sold out. But I understand where the trains and... And the rest of it that goes on in the background, it's really difficult. And obviously, people have got family holidays, um, then it's difficult for them to, to make it. But please, try and try and give your ticket to somebody else. I think we're putting a product on the pitch that is really, really good to watch. And you never know if you give your ticket to someone, they might keep coming because it, they've enjoyed it. Um, and then for the people that was there on Saturday, continue. I think we give them a load to shout about. But um, I thought it was exceptional. The, the product on the pitch was brilliant. And then... And the atmosphere in the stands was probably even better.